Good afternoon, viewers. Welcome back to our channel. Once again, I am Raju Padhyay from Simes College, Patna, Department of IT. So today we are going to talk about the very important features of Advanced Excel, which is very, very useful for the professionals as well as for students. So let me share my screen to give a proper demo. So this is my uh, small worksheet where you can find the list of salesmen. They sold a certain product like keyboard, mouse, and SSD with certain numbers for a particular day. Now, I wanted to show along with this particular keyboard, the data which we have, I wanted to see the 23 pieces or 45 pieces or 56 pieces. So what you can do is you can mention like this, 23 as well as uh, along with that, we can write the pieces. pieces. If you write like this, then there will be a problem. Let's say if somebody has told you to find out the total of this. So let's say I wanted to have a total here and somebody wants to uh, get the total of all these three. So what you can do is you can say equal to, you wanted to add this plus this plus this. And if you hit the enter key, you get, you get the error. Obviously, the moment you have, you have mentioned PCS, that means this cell is having a two different kind of data. The first uh, two letters are number. Along with that, we are having alphabets. So obviously, this is go not going to work out. So what I can do is I have to do some sort of uh, certain formatting with this particular cell so I can do the needful. I have to display PCS as well as this would allow us for calculation as well. So what we can do is we can select this particular column list and we can press control one. If you press the control one, directly it will take you to the format cells window. Within a format cells window, we have custom. Select the custom. Here you have mentioned, it is already mentioned general. You remove this and say hash and just by having a space, Within a double quotes, we can write PCS, that is pieces, whatever you want. And if you hit the enter key, the moment you hit the enter key, you are getting all pieces are attached with a certain number. Now, the benefit which we have got it here, you can notice if I now, if I wanted to do the calculation, so I say equal to this plus this plus this. So now, remember in earlier time, we had some error. If you hit the enter key, you don't get the error output. Instead of getting error, you are getting the required output. So this is the one way by which you can mention the PC uh, number of pieces out here. Now, if you wanted to display here boxes, right? 56 boxes of mouse, 67 boxes of the mouse. So what you can do, again, you can highlight it and you can go for same option. Control one and go for custom. And here you can specify like this hash space within double quotes boxes. Right. If you read the enter key, you are getting the boxes. Now, one more thing the very interesting thing is let's say for the SSD, we are having number of pieces, number of, number of pieces out, uh, number of quantity sold is, or uh, here we are seeing out here, something like uh, one box, clear. Here we are having 45 boxes. Here we are having a 34 boxes. So for this, what we wanted is, if the number is one, then it should display the box. If the number is 45, it should display boxes. So how you can do that, clear. So in order to perform it, what you can do is, again, you can select it and you can go for control one. You get this kind of screen. And within this, again, we can go for the custom. And within a custom, we are getting a type out here. And here I can, now here we have to specify the condition. If the number is one, if the number is one, it should display a box. And if the number is more than one, it should get display boxes. So in order to specify the condition, we are going to write a square bracket, then we write equal to one. This is for condition. 
Then after that, we can specify space. Then we write hash. And then, then we have to write out here box. That means we are, I'm going to mention the condition. If the current cell is having a value one, it should display the box. Otherwise, for the otherwise, you can say semicolon. And there, again, we have to mention hash, then double quotes. And here I can write boxes. Clear. Here we can write boxes. And if we hit the enter key. So you can notice out here if it is one, then it's showing the box. And if it is more than one, it's showing the boxes. Again, if I mention out here instead of 45, if I write again one, so it is getting converted to box. So it's going to be quite interesting. So that's all for the day. So I hope you must have understood this uh, very interesting feature of Excel. And we will talk about uh, another feature of Excel in Monday's video. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, if you like the video, please uh, click on like button and leave your valuable comment in the comment box. Thanks for watching this video once again.